Hello, y'all. Good morning. Um, I wanted to come over here and talk about the rise of pedophilia real quick. And pedophilia is something evil. Very, very evil. Now, most of y'all in here know that I don't have an issue with most groups of other people, whether you're gay, lesbian, straight, black, white, whatever. I might have my issues personally, but nothing wrong with your, how you see life, what you do, and your racial characteristics. No problem with that. I mainly have a problem with some, some actions, but I have a big issue with pedophilia. I have a big issue. This is where I have an issue also with the gay community, or LGBTQ, because... You see that you have these organizations, one is called NAMLA, which stands for North American Man, Lo- Man Boy Love Association, and they're fighting for pedophilia to be legal, to be a sexual orientation, and they're using the same things that the gays use, and the same laws, that if it becomes an orientation, it will apply under those LGBTQ laws. And pedophilia is, it's going to be illegal. But, and it, it's so sad. It's so evil. The fact of the matter is, if you look to today, you have children walking around in dresses. I know this white boy, I forgot his name. And there's a video of him twerking in the, in the club and men are throwing dollars at him and he's like 8 or 10 years old a child that is sick that is child abuse we gotta do better than that y'all and see this is why I, I say let's create our own schools I believe that in every community create our own schools there's another story in a public school right a black 5 year old boy who had long hair, you know, and they told him he couldn't have it that way. He either has to cut his hair, braid it, pin it up, or he can wear his hair like that, but he has to wear a dress. And when they would speak to him wearing that dress, they would call him a girl. He has to respond as if he's a she. Do you see, see how evil that is? That is so backwards. It is so evil that little children are being twisted into this. It is wrong. And it seems like some people are okay with it. It really seems that way. Because a lot of people, this is why I always say a lot of people need to wake up. Because I find that a lot of people are unaware of these things going on. And I'm like, y'all need to be aware. Especially for the black community. I'm telling you. Take your kids out of those schools. Let's create our own schools. This way we can have our own kids. And have our own things going on for ourselves. Because we see our kids being beat up. Abused. In schools. And now the whole gay thing going on. And the gay thing is going to affect everybody. It's going to affect everybody. But for the soul of our children, I'm saying this to every community, create our own schools. It needs to be stopped. But I'm saying to the black community, let, it's an even more reason to create our own schools and let us teach our children. Now, if you're gay, I have no problem with you being gay so long as you don't mess with children. And me gay and lesbian, same thing. I have no problem with it so long as you do not mess with children. Okay? I cannot control whatever your thoughts are. I can't do that. But I have an issue. If you're gay, don't mess with children. You can mess with anybody else you want. White, black, blue, Spanish, whatever. Male, female, lesbian, lesbian, gay, whatever you want to do. Do not mess with children and do not mess with animals. Because I will tell you this. Once pedophilia is legal, you will find bestiality is coming next. It is coming next. I promise you that. It is a very sad thing. 
it is a very, very sad thing. And we have to watch out for that. We have to be aware of that, especially as parents. I'm not a parent, but one day I will be. And any mother and father should watch out for that and say, I don't want my kids learning that stuff. Not in the elementary. Now, should they be aware that pedophilia exists? Absolutely. But not be exposed to it and say, oh, this is okay. Oh, you can be whatever gender you want. Like, I've never heard of gender X. They're trying to make it possible you can put X on your birth certificate. What is X? No such thing as an X. You are either man or female female, boy or girl, man or woman, male or female, not X. That is baloney. That is baloney. It's BS. They're trying to make it so we don't even know what the heck we are anymore and get everything all twisted up. They want right to be wrong and wrong to be right. So we have to, as a group of people, people, Right. Asians, whites, blacks, whatever. We have to educate our children and say, listen, this is how it is. You are a boy. You are a boy. You are a girl. You are a girl. You are white. You are black. You are Asian. You are whatever. This is what you are. Okay? Do not let the government raise your children. Don't do it. Do not do it. not do it. Okay, y'all. And I told you, I have some hatred for other groups, mainly the white supremacists and the pedophilias and the rapists. That's another thing, too. A drug addict, a drug bust, will get a, a million dollar bond. I just read this case in Texas, in Texas uh, one of the biggest drug cases in that county. I think it is the biggest. Those folks are getting a million. One dude got like, what is it, um, $1.2 million bond. The other dude got like $900,000 bond. I imagine all of them are pretty high. But a rapist and a pedophile. You know, Brock Turner, oh, six months. He only served three. I seen, I seen people with child pornography get off. One dude had a million cases. A million. They caught him three times. One with like 100,000. The second time with like 500,000. The third time with a million. They let him off three times. I seen this one story about a white boy who raped a 14 year old girl. Oh, 10 years probation. Or if they do arrest him, his bail is so much lower than that. That is so backwards. I would rather deal with a drug addict than a pedophile and a rapist. They are more dangerous. They are more dangerous. A drug addict can get off of drugs. A, rape at, a, ra- a rapist and a pedophile should be on death row. Once it's confirmed and proved that they did it, and there's no other way that someone else did it, guess what? They need to be on death row. They need to be killed, executed. And you know what, too? You televise that shit. Make it known that, listen, if you are a pedophile, if you are a rapist, this is what the hell is going to happen to you if you do something like that. Because you can never control how people think, but you can control their actions and make them afraid of doing something. You can do that. So what I'm saying to our to us is we need to defend our children and stop all the nonsense. Do not, I repeat, do not let this government raise your kids. This government is evil. This government is nothing, nothing without an ulterior motive. It may seem good, but trust me, there's a long plan. There's an ulterior motive. Okay? Another thing too, I want to talk about, stop smoking the weed. I know y'all love it. Get off of it. Because this government is putting CBD, C, uh, not, not CBD, sorry, um, pesticides in the weed. 
those same pesticides, um, I think one of them is atrazine, they block something in the brain that produces masculinity. It helps um, boys become more masculine. It blocks those things. Oh, the same pesticides kill weeds, kill plants. Okay? Plant, I think DNA is close to, similar to human DNA. So if it's killing them, it can kill you and your seeds. It doesn't do it all of a sudden, but over time. Okay? So I'm telling you, as anybody who sees this video, stop smoking the weed. And let's keep our children safe. Okay? We need to make sure that pedophiles, that law needs to be changed, that pedophiles, once you are a pedophile, there's, not, there's no such thing as no sex offender list. None of that shit. You should not get out. You should be on death row. You should be on death row. Depending on what you did, because the sex offender list is very backwards, you need to be on death row. If you rape children or anybody, anybody for that matter, you need to be on death row. There's no questions asked about that. I don't feel sad for you. No, you need to go. Whether you're white, black, blue, Spanish, green, Asian, whatever you are. Gay, lesbian, straight, whatever you are. You rape somebody, especially children, you need to be on death row. That's how I feel about that, because that's child abuse. And the saddest thing is today, is that less and less people are seeing it as the wrong thing to do. But a good thing today, I do think there's some folks waking up to. Okay. We need to. How should I say? Protect ourselves, our families, and our children. Okay? They are the future. That's why you see things when the government wants to change things in society. They don't go after the adults, they go after the children. Because they'll grow up. And then mm, thinking it's, it's legal, and then the next generation may think it's it's okay. That's how it works. But pedophilia has to go. It cannot be allowed to be legal. It will be legal eventually, but it can't be allowed to, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. This is wrong. All right, so make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you another time.